arrives for 20 points. The London Bridge is no longer in London. In which state? Chris. Arizona. Arizona, Lake Havasu. And I have sailed under that bridge <laughs> for 20 points. Haven't read it, Oliver. Police. A policeman is correct for the profession. Next one is two parts, two parts. Here's a video. Joy. Abacus, and it's from ancient China. China Abacus is correct for 20. Very good. For 20 points here, oops, we don't have time for that final video question. But now we move to the first bonus question. As you know, it's worth lots of points. We're going to give you three clues. First clue is wide, second clue is tighter, and the third clue should give it away. The first clue is worth 50 points, second clue 30, third clue is worth 20. Only team captains may buzz in, team players' hands to the side. You may confer with each other before you answer. If you're incorrect, you're out of the round and the other team gets to answer at whatever clue level they desire. Here it is for 50 points. We are looking for one of the 13 original colonies. Oliver? New York. Incorrect. Uh, your Belinda, would you like the first clue or would you like to move? Do you want to hear both clues? Second clue. Okay, let me read you the first one. <laughs> We're looking for one of the original 13 colonies, now a state, bordered by the Atlantic. Can you name the state? That's the first clue. The second clue is this U.S. state is bordered by Pennsylvania, Maryland, and its bay, and the Atlantic Ocean. What state are we looking for, Corey? Right. Here we go to the third clue. It's now worth 20. The largest city in this state is Wilmington, and the capital is Dover. Name the state. Corey? Delaware. Delaware is correct for 20 points. Very good. All right. We'll be back with the half of this, the second half of our game after this message, so don't go too far away. Kit Quiz. We'll be back. Grumpy, frumpy, down and dumpy, icky, creepy, crabby, weepy, yucky, mad, or just plain sad. Then you need Chuck E. Cheese. Then you feel happy, giggly, glad, and wiggly. Wacky, bumptious, silly, scrumptious, funny, giddy, zany, witty, sassy, crazy, upsy, daisy, all the Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. Where a kid can be a kid. <laughs> Cloth around the fingers, <clears throat> just brushing up a bit on my dental philosophy. That's philosophy with an F. You see, brushing your teeth simply is not enough. <clears throat> Plaque, the rascal that causes dental disease, lurks everywhere along your gum line, including hard to get places your toothbrush can't reach. But even hard to get plaque can't hide from dental floss. Just watch. Gently slide floss between the gum line and the surface of each tooth. Then, forming a C, gently scrape the floss up and down adjacent tooth surfaces. By George, no more plaque. <clears throat> Teach plaque a lesson in dental philosophy. Use a toothbrush and floss. This has been a public service message brought to you by the California Dental Association. Kids, don't miss out on the fun this summer. The Afro-American Museum has exciting workshops. And yes, we are back. We are back in a semi-final round. Pretty good game. It's, we're halfway through. We'll see what happens in the second half. But we want to thank our first round players for joining us. And how about a nice big hand for them as they take this week. Before we begin the second round, I want to show you the brackets with all of the schools that are participating in this season, all Southern California schools, maybe your neighborhood. There you see how Yorba Linda has survived two uh, rounds and is now here, and one of these teams will move on to the final championship game. So uh, maybe one of those schools is in your neighborhood, and you'll watch the show and root for them. So we go back to Corey from Yorba Linda Middle School to tell us about his second round players. To my right is Ward Cadell, and to my left is Jamie Crossan. Ward and Jamie. Yeah. 
And we go back to Oliver from Jefferson in Burbank uh, to introduce us to his second rounders. To my left is Kristen Jordan, and to my right is Mark Dosh. Kristen and Mark. Very good. Reminding team players, hands flat in a wild palette and go for the buzzer when you think you have the answer. Our first question of the second half. In conjunction with Channel 2's year-long campaign to protect our planet, we begin with this special question. Multiple choice. Which one of these products is not recyclable? C. I'm sorry. Okay, I made a mistake. It's my fault. It slipped out. I'm, I'm so excited. I blew it, so obviously we have to just throw that out and we move on to the next question. Okay, Oliver, you don't need me helping you out here. It's our first mistake I've made today. <laughs> All right, we move on to the 10-point uh, audio questions, and here we go. Hands flat on the white palette, we're ready. From grammar, how many vowels, not including Y, are there in the English language? Five. Mark. Five is correct. A-E-I-O-U. Ten points. Next question. Give me the name of the highest point in California. Ward. Mount Whitney. Mount Whitney. Correct. 4 What was the name of the group that gave singer Michael Jackson his start? Oliver. Jackson 5. The Jackson 5. And that was long ago, because I was in high school then. Mm. Ten points. What is the scientific name for a person who studies ancient ruins? Ward. Archaeologist. The archaeologist is correct for ten. A musical question. Let's listen, and I'll ask you the question. Pomp and circumstances usually played at what type of ceremony? Corey. Graduation. Graduation is correct. When you graduated from kindergarten, they played that, right, Corey? <laughs> For 10 points. Next question. A kilowatt hour is a measurement of what kind? Ward. Electricity. Electricity. From literature, what did Goldilocks eat at the Three Bears? Ward. Porridge. Porridge. For 10 points, Daniel is 48 years old. His son is half his age. Mark. 24. 24 years old. 10 points. To date, which country has the largest population? Mark. China. China is correct for 10. Here's one from uh, American history. In 1951, the Brooklyn Dodgers introduced... I uh, haven't finished the question. Mark. Baseball. Incorrect for your Belinda. In 1951, the Brooklyn Dodgers introduced what piece of safety equipment to the game of baseball? Anyone at your Belinda? Ward. Helmets. Accepted, yes. Batter's helmets. Very good. For 10 points, which U.S. state is known as the Heart of Dixie. Oliver. Kentucky. Incorrect. You're Belinda. The Heart of Dixie. Which state? Ward. Louisiana. Incorrect. Alabama. Alabama is considered the Heart of Dixie. All right, from Sports 410. Interesting one here. There are 336 dimples. <laughs> uh, Corey. Golf ball. On a golf ball, that's correct. I want to know who sat there and counted these 300 dimples. Next question for 10. Oops, time is up. We run out of uh, questions for the audio question. Jefferson is now at 280, and your Belinda is at 200. The very valuable video questions. I'm going to fly through these, hands flat on the white palette. Here is the first video. I haven't read the question, Jamie. Panda? Incorrect. Judge? Was that incorrect? She said panda.
We're, having, we're shuffling a paper over here. We want to make sure we get this right. She cannot accept that. The question then for Jefferson. These animals are an endangered species. What country do they live in? Oliver. China. China for 20 is correct. Okay, the next video question, watch. Haven't read it, Ward. Jewish. Cannot accept. Jefferson, although without religious meaning, this symbol has been adopted by the Jews. What is it called? Oliver. David Star. Judge. Cannot accept. The Star of David. All right, the Star of David. For 20 points, next video, watch. A ride last summer on the shockwave would take you, Ward. Magic Mountain. To Magic Mountain is correct for 20. Next one is multiple choice. I'll show you the video. Benazar Bhutto is the first woman prime minister of which Middle Eastern country? Pakistan, Iran, or Iraq? Mark. Pakistan? Pakistan is correct for 20. Next video question for 20. Watch your monitors. I haven't read the question, Mark. Rodeo? The rodeo is correct for 20. Bull riding, what you see. Next video question. Our solar system is located. Milky Lord. Way. Milky Way is correct for 20. All right, next video question for 20. Here it is. Give me the name of this singer. Kristen. Ray Charles. Ray Charles for 20. Next video question. Watch before you. Haven't read it. Oliver. Basketball court. A basketball court is correct. Next one requires three parts. Haven't read the question, but I need three answers, Mark. Washington, Teddy Roosevelt, and Lincoln. Very good. Very good. The three, uh, the presidents on Mount Rushmore. The next question. Which of these fractions is not? Oliver. Six eighths. Six eighths is not reduced to its lowest term. Video question for 20. <laughs> Haven't read the question, Ward. La Bamba. Not accept. La Bamba is being performed by what local group? Mark. Um. Time's up. Los Lobos. Los Lobos, Southern California's original. For 20, two parts to this. Give me the word and use it. It means to have a selection. Mark. Choice. Um, I only had one choice. Accepted, very good, for 20. Next video from American History, watch. Henry Ford invented the assembly line to build what product? Mark. Car. The car is accepted by the judge. The automobile. But, but that's the end of the video round. Now we move to the final bonus question. At this point, uh, I don't know that it'll make a big difference, but let's see who still has a little energy and enthusiasm over there, and we'll go for the final bonus question. Now, first clue is worth 70. Second clue is worth 50. Third clue is worth 30. Uh, you can answer at any clue level that you like, but if you're incorrect, you're out of the round, and the other team gets to answer. Only team captains may buzz in. First clue, this South American country borders on every country except Chile and Ecuador. Oliver? Brazil. Brazil is correct. <laughs> Brazil is correct for the 70 points. We'll be back with the conclusion of our game after this message. Don't go too far away. Hit quiz, we'll be back. that uh, we just had answered, which was Brazil, last time that your Belinda played, they, they won the game on that question. This time, unfortunately, it, it uh, was Jefferson's turn and Oliver and Mark's turn to, to guess that I was looking for Brazil. We were going to tell you that it is the largest Portuguese-speaking country in the world and that the country largest city is Sao Paulo, but the capital is Brasilia. Yes, Brazil. Yorba Linda, thank you for a wonderful season. Say hi to all our friends down in Yorba Linda. 
but we congratulate Jefferson. They move on to the finals. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for the next championship game. So long. Southern California's Emmy Award-winning game show, where schools match skills and wits. Kid Quiz. And here, to introduce today's participating schools is your host, McClovio Perez. Thank you. Thank you very much, and welcome, folks. This is the big one we've been waiting all season for. This is the Spring Championship. We have two teams that have survived many rounds of elimination and made it all the way to the top. These teams have never played each other because they represent two separate brackets of, of, uh, of teams. And so this should be a good one. This should be, as they say, a rock and roll, right? <laughs> we welcome back uh, for this championship game from uh, the city of Burbank, Jefferson Elementary with team captain Oliver Lau. Welcome back, Oliver, and please introduce us to your first round players. To my left is Chris Grogan, and to my right is Emily Rohr. Chris and Emily. We got them. And representing the city of Cerritos, Gonzalez Elementary School, team captain Jason Lim. Welcome back, Jason. Haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> and uh, introduce us to your first round players. To my right is Niru Jayaraman, and to my left is Orion Love. All right, Niru and Jayaraman. Before we start our game, I want to ask Jack, our announcer, to tell us about the prizes that we will be giving at the end of this game. Here's Jason, uh, Jack. This year, our second place school will receive Merriam-Webster's new International Unabridged Dictionary with a beautiful hardwood table. Panasonic's Easy Programming Barcode VCR. The forehead unit lets you set time, date, and channel with the use of a barcode scanner from Panasonic. The winning school will receive the superbly illustrated 22-volume New Book of Knowledge Encyclopedia. Accurate and up-to-date information from Grolier. The Macintosh Personal Computer from Apple Computer. Macintosh, a computer that provides the power to be your best. The winning school will also take home this 1990 Spring Championship Trophy. We started out this season with 16 schools and we've eliminated down to two. These are the two that are playing today. Uh, before we start the game, I want to remind the team players the hands go flat on the white pallet. And our offstage judge for this entire season, we're ha very happy to have her with us, is Arlene Nakamura. We want to thank her publicly now and tell her, how about a nice hand for her? She is off stage, but she's on the buzzer because if you answer correctly, she's going to give uh, something that sounds like this. And if there is an incorrect answer, she will give one of those. All right. So, um, uh, teams, Gonzalez and Jefferson, good luck to both of you. One team will win. One team will be second place. There are no losers in this game because they've gone through many, many rounds and many, many games to get this far. So we're ready to go. Everybody nodding, say hello, yes, hello. smile, thank you. Okay, here we go. 10 points. First question. How many weeks in a year? Emily. 52. 52 weeks is correct. From grammar, what is the rule for spelling words with the vowels I and E? Emily. I before E except after C. Very good, 410. From the art world, if you combine the colors red, blue, and yellow, what color do you get? Dorian. Brown. Brown is correct. 
And if you mix them incorrectly, you get a mess. <laughs> For 10 points, next question. Which U.S. city has the largest population? Oliver. New York. New York, New York. For 10. A musical question. Let's all listen in, and then I'll ask you the question. Red Butler and Scarlett O'Hara, characters from what movie classic? Emily. Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind. That's Tara's theme. All right, from math. Listen carefully. Joe is four feet, seven inches tall. But Kim is seven inches taller. How tall is Chris? Five foot two. Five two is correct. Four, ten. Which continent did Captain James Cook discover and use as a British colony for prisoners? Uh, did he get in on time? He did not get in on time. Sorry, Jason. Australia. Australia is the answer. It was originally a penal colony. Moving along for 10 points. In 1521, Martin Luther left the Catholic religion and became the founder of what other church? Time's up. I mean, this is a tough one. The Lutheran Church. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hands ready. Here we go to the next 10-point question. Washington, D.C. is located on what river? Emily. The Potomac. The Potomac, 410. That's correct. From music, what does a lyricist do for a song? Chris. Writes the, wor writes the words. He writes the words. He's correct, Fortan. From American history, Ulysses Grant and Robert E. Lee were generals. Jason. Civil War. In the Civil War. <laughs> what official system of measurement is used in every country? Metric. Dorian metric is correct, Fortan. It's used in every country except the U.S. All right, we move along to the much more valuable 20-point video questions. Team players know. You watch your monitors. I'll wait three seconds and then ask you the question. You can't anticipate the question, but you can win or lose. Depending on how the question was written, these are worth 20 points. And here's the first one. Two parts to this question. Here it is. Give me the name of the structure in the city. Chris. Eiffel Tower, Paris. Eiffel Tower, Paris, for 20. Three choices on the next one. I'll give you multiple choice. In 1989, she became the first woman to be named first captain of the Corps of Cadets at West Point. Is she Sally Ride, Chris McAuliffe, or Kristen Baker? Chris. Kristen Baker. Kristen Baker, captain. She's a... Uh, Captain Kristen Baker to you there, Chris. Uh, <laughs> For 20 points. I didn't feel any pressure. Haven't read it, Oliver. Shoemaker. Shoemaker, Willie Shoe. As a jockey, won more horse races than any other jockey. For 20 points, here's a multiple choice. What is the white part of the eye called? Jason. Iris. Incorrect. Jefferson. What is the white, white part of the eye called the cornea, the sclera, or the retina? Jefferson. Emily. Retina. Incorrect. The white part is called the sclera. The sclera. We move along for 20 points. Watch this. Your ninja skills are... Haven't read the question, Chris. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Cannot accept the question of, for Gonzalez. What is the name of this ninja master? Dorian. Splinter. Splinter is correct. All right. Next one is multiple choice. I'll give you the three options. Watch. Which of these numbers is a prime number? Chris. Seven. Seven is a prime number. For 20 points, watch. Haven't read it, Oliver. Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi for 20. Next one is two parts. Give me the word and use it in a sentence. Niru. Ambition. My ambition is to win this game. That's a good ambition. 
420. 420 points, here's the next video question. Haven't read it, Emily. Soccer. Incorrect for Gonzalez. How many players on a soccer team? Guess, guess. Time's up. 11 soccer players on a team. Next for 20 is before you watch carefully. In Southeast Asia, what is the capital of the United Vietnam? Jason. Hanoi. Hanoi is correct for 20. Multiple choice on the next one. I'll give you three choices. Bats are considered birds, mammals, or Chris? Mammals. Mammals is correct for 20. 420 points, video question, watch. Haven't read it, Oliver. Origami. Origami, the Japanese art of paper folding. All right, 420 points, here's a video question. Haven't read it, Oliver. Carter. Carter, do you, do you need me here at all? <laughs> Jimmy Carter. Uh, the reason he's there is because of many reasons. He helped sign a peace treaty between Egypt, Egypt and Israel. The next is a multiple choice. Which one of these is an archipelago? Chris. Rocky Mountains. Incorrect. Which one of these is an archipelago? Anyone at Gonzalez? Jason. Hawaiian Islands. The Hawaiian Islands. Archipelago is a series of small islands that are linked together. All right, that is the end of the video round. Now we move to the valuable bonus question. In the bonus question, the first clue is worth 50, second clue worth 30, third clue is worth 20. You can answer at any clue level that you like, but if you're incorrect, you're out of the round and the other team gets to finish the game. Team captains may only buzz in, team players hands to the side. For 50 points, here's the first clue. We're looking for one of the 13 colonies, states, located on the Atlantic coast. Can you name Oliver? Delaware. Delaware is incorrect. Gonzalez. Would you like the second clue? Second clue. The second clue. This state is the southernmost of the New England states. Which state is this? Jason. South Carolina. Incorrect. All right. The third clue for no one. Largest city in this U.S. state is Bridgeport. The capital is Hartford. Audience answer, Connecticut. Connecticut. All right. We'll be back with the second half of our game after this message. Don't go too far away. Kid Quiz. Championship, and we now want to thank our first rounders for joining us and ask them to please take their seats. How about a nice hand for the first round players? As I mentioned at the top of our show, 16 schools started out participating in this season, and there you see the first bracket and how Jefferson advanced to the finals. You see also uh, the other neighborhood schools from around Southern California and how Gonzalez uh, is the winner in that bracket, and they're both here today for all the marbles, as they say. We want to go back to Oliver from Jefferson to introduce us to his second round players. Oliver? To my left is Kristen Jordan, and to my right is Mark Doche. Mark and Kristen. <laughs> and we go back to Jason from Gonzalez, from the city of Cerritos, to introduce us to his second round players. To my right is Adam Glover, and to my left is William Ott. Adam and William, very good. We're ready to start the second half, and as always, we start the second half with a special question. In conjunction with Channel 2's year-long campaign, To Protect Our Planet, we begin round two with this question. To protect our planet, a multiple choice, which of these is not a source of clean energy? Mark? Wind. Incorrect. Uh, Gonzalez, William. Oil. Oil is not a source of clean energy. Wind and moving water are free, and we can use them as clean energy. For 10 points, we start the second half of the game with audio questions. And here is the first one. How many yards in 36 inches? William. One. One yard is correct. <laughs> From grammar, what do we call a group of words that states a complete idea? Jason. Sentence. A sentence is correct for 10. In medicine, what do the initials RN stand for? Mark. 
Incorrect, Gonzalez. The initials RN in medicine mean what? Jason? <laughs> Time's up. Registered nurse. All right, registered nurse. All right. We move along for 10 points. If you walked 5,200... I haven't finished the question, Oliver. Mile. You walked a mile. Five, 5,280, 5,280 feet, and you would also be very tired. <laughs> Next one is musical. Let's listen in, and I'll ask you the question. This